So today we're going to talk about former Baylor quarterback and current Utah quarterback, Charlie Brewer. We're going to dive into some of his 2019 film so Utah fans can know what to expect from Charlie Brewer at the quarterback position. And I think Charlie Brewer is going to be a huge addition to the Utah Utes. I think he's going to put them in a position to succeed and do very well in the Pac-12. I know fans got a glimpse of him in the spring game, uh, a glimpse. He went 15 or 15, which is fantastic. We did a video on it, but I wanted to actually go through some game film uh, and kind of break down what he brings as a quarterback. So the few things I want you to watch in this film we're about to dive into is his consistency his ability to, to make consistent throws time after time throughout a game his athleticism able to pick up yards with his legs whether it is off script or a designed call and just his his, his his toughness overall whether it's rolling out throwing get hit stand in the pocket throwing get hit whatever it may be uh, so i think he brings a lot of good stuff to the table and before we dive into the actual film that we're going to break down i just want to encourage you to consider subscribing to this channel if you like any quarterback related content videos it can be quarterback interviews uh quarterback film breakdowns what we do in the in the weight room we got a lot of cool stuff kind of coming up that we want to do this summer so uh just consider subscribing if you like this type of content so enough of me talking let's dive into the actual film so here's charlie brewer against iowa state 2019 he's going to throw a, a deep uh, just a go route here uh we're going to see a, a zone covers the man on top so backers come at the zone and he probably has some type of, might be a cover three, he has thirds, or might be just man just because he's going deep. Anyways, Bird does a good job reading it, including a ball downfield. Good separation by the receiver. We'll go ahead and watch. But watch when Charlie throws the ball. So right now he's getting ready to throw. The receiver is even. You know, that's what we call, uh, or, or we had a saying in college, and uh, most people have that, the same saying. If he's even, he's leaving. Brewer sees that and is able to deliver a deep ball. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well. You can kind of see Brewer's eyes here, which will help uh, kind of get an idea of him processing everything. Good job there. So here is Brewer completing a rollout to just a stop route here, a rollout pass. And uh, just an example of, of his toughness. Anyone that's watched Brewer play or Baylor or Big 12, Knows he's probably one of the most toughest quarterbacks in all of college football, if not the toughest quarterback, taking shot after shot. Uh, just the ability to make this type of throw while taking a hit really shows that the Utah type of quarterback they're getting, uh, he's going to be able to, to stand in the pocket, take hits like this, and continue to deliver the ball. Let's go ahead and watch. I'm going to pause right before he takes the hit. Look at that right there. Boom. Takes a shot. Good ball. First down. Gets up. Here we go again. So we're keying on this D end. He's the one with the hit. Shot. Good ball still. So here's a good example of Charlie Brewer's ability to roll out, throw in the run, push the ball downfield as he is rolling out to uh, go off script and make a play. We'll watch it a few times. Good ball there. Watch it one more time. We'll just watch this angle. Eyes downfield. Makes a play. Throw in the run. Good job. So here we're going to see his ability as a runner and his toughness as well. He stays in the game after this play. Slides and takes a shot. Watch it one more time from this angle. So I, I do expect there to be quarterback design runs uh, for Charlie Brewer at Utah. Not something that you want to do often, but something you can definitely do when needed to. Here's one more angle of it. Again, toughness and ability to run. So here's an easy read, easy throw for Brewer. We're just going to see a deep slant route here. Plenty of space to throw. Brewer hits it. And so easy play, but something that Brewer will be able to do consistently. And that's something, you know, Utes fans and the Utah offense will, will welcome, of course, just to be able to hit plays like this consistently. And that's something that Brewer will be able to do. Let's just go ahead and watch the example here. Again, easy play, but something that he can do consistently. Deep slant. Plenty of space to throw. Big first down there. We'll go ahead and watch the other angle as well. Here's another example of just hitting a consistent throw. We'll see the receiver was going to stop in the zone. Brewer sits him down in the zone. I believe they actually pick up the first down here. Uh, again, not, nothing 
crazy or complex about it, but just being the veteran quarterback he is, being able to hit these throws consistently, they keep drives alive. Go one more time. Brewer just sits him down in the zone. Good smart play there. Let's go ahead and watch the other angle as well. A good consistency like this in the quarterbacks from the quarterback is what Utah Utes fans will want. Good job. So it ends up being a first down, kind of like another slant route here. Brew does a good job sitting the receiver here. Again, just remember the consistency factor. Being able to hit these type of throws time after time uh, throughout uh, the, the, the course of a game is what allows offenses to keep drives alive. So let's just go ahead and watch this. This is another example of the consistency here. Also a good throw against zone. Sits him down, before, not leading him into that back or coming. We'll watch the behind the center angle as well. Good throw and read by Brewer. But the ability to do this uh, will, will help the Utah Utes' uh, offense tremendously just to make these type of throws. Good job. So here's Brewer completing a deep out top of the screen. Going to be out. Uh, corner blitzes. Uh, DB on top of the corner is playing zone. Safety can't get over in time. Good job of Brewer staying in the pocket, delivering a good ball. Good job. Let's watch it one more time. He's able to put enough zip on it before the safety gets there. We'll go behind the center angle as well. And remember, there is a, there's a blitzing corner there. And Brewer is able to sustain the pocket um, and let him come to him. Throws a good ball. Gets enough juice on it. Good job. Here's another example of Brewer being used as a, it's a design quarterback run. It's like a third and 11. Picks it up. There's his lead block. There's running back right there. Reads the block. Gets the first down. Again, something that the Utah offense will be able to use. Charlie Brewer's legs. Watch this angle. Good athlete. So here's a, here's a touchdown by Brewer. It's going to be just like a deep slant. Uh, just a quick play action here. Maybe RPO. There are some guys going downfield. But the running back does stay in and block right off the bat. Uh, regardless, though, uh, it's a relatively easy throw for Brewer. Still a good throw. But I want you to think about the consistent plays we saw previously and that eventually consistent play after consistent play leads to touchdowns. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch this. Good strike. Touchdown. Relatively easy throw for Brewer, but just being able to complete that time after time eventually will lead to touchdowns, something the Utes will gladly have. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle as well. So you got to kind of get a different look. Let's see, is it coming for us? Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Good strike. Touchdown. So again, just about eight, nine plays uh, of Charlie Brewer, but it gives us a decent idea of what he brings to the table, his ability to make consistent throws, his ability to pick up legs with his first down he needs to, and his toughness that allows him to make throws and plays that other quarterbacks just can't make just because he's tough enough to stand in there and take hits. So Utah fans should be very excited about it. Brewer and the season uh, coming up. But I want to hear from you. Uh, what are your thoughts? What are Utah's expectations? And what do y'all think Charlie Brewer brings to the room as the quarterback? And we will see you next time in the next quarterback-related video.